welcome y'all back to the channel. We're going to get into the Nintendo Switch and all the games that you could get backups for your games that you have or, you know, um, in, um, homebrew or whatever to get it all running on here. Because um, I was trying to run eShop games, which you could download off the internet or whatever you could find. It's called .nsp files. And um, I just find a hard time getting them loaded on here. Everybody says it's so complicated. It's actually not that complicated. Um, it's like maybe like a three-step process if you know what you're doing. But anyways, let's back on up. Let's talk about the SXOS by Team Executor. It's basically an operating system that lets you run this stuff, lets you run um, dumps of cartridges and um, eShop backups or whatever that you can find off the internet or dump yourself. So basically what it is now, you can run pretty much any game. The Switch is finally fully cracked and they make it very easy. But you'll need to buy a license which costs around $40.00. But once you get that license, um, everything else is free. You can find it on, on the internet from the, the, um, the loader, everything pretty much. So I just want to get into it and make sort of a thorough interview on, you know, um, how to get it all running on your Switch. And now, first of all, you have to take your Switch and put it in RCM mode, which means you remove one of the controllers and here you're going to stick a paper clip. Just uh, stick it, spread it out. There's tutorial online. I'll put a link uh, to the tutorial under the description where you kind of, um, you basically ground one of the wires, pin one and ten. And once you do that, which I didn't see in any tutorial, I didn't even know I was grounding the wire so many times. I didn't know I was doing it. When the screen is all the way black and you cannot turn it on when you're pushing the volume up and the power button because you have to hold both of these to load um, into RCM mode, the screen will turn black and you won't see anything. When that happens and nothing is happening, you'll be in RCM mode. And if you connect to your computer with a USB-C cord, connect to a laptop or a computer, you'll see the computer would recognize it. But you have to also load the driver, but the driver comes with the Tegra RCM GUI, which you download. Um, that's basically what... Um, what you'll need to inject everything but it also comes with the driver to connect your switch to the computer so you'll go to the website um, team executors website to download the software you need and everything else I have links in the description so you can find everything so now let's get into this video so I can kinda show you the steps that I take to um get everything loaded basically I'm just showing you how to put I'm not showing you how to activate your license you can find it online there's even a manual at uh, team executor uh, dot com or whatever at the executor website you can find the manual there and you'll be able to um, uh, do your license and all that I'm not showing you that and I'm not showing you how to do the jig which you can also find online I did a script uh, in the description there's a video that I put in there which you can follow that video and it'll tell you how to do that Okay, I'm going to show you right now how to inject the payload that you'll download from the website. It's going to show you how to inject the payload um, into your switch uh, so that you can start the custom firmware. So let's go. Okay, now once you've got this thing loaded up, you're going to, once you got it connected, you're going to go to inject payload. Well, first you find your payload on your computer. So you connect, click this. Mine is on my desktop. There's the payload.bin file. So you hit open. Or you click the payload bin, my fault. Click that, hit open. Now it's ready to inject. Hit inject. It's loading. Bam. And it should start on your switch now. So now let's just connect it back up after injecting it, injecting the payload. Let's connect it up and you'll see the custom firmware load up. So here's it on your switch. You have an option menu and you got auto install RCM. I would, uh, I would highly recommend that just so that you don't have to keep doing the jig, putting in the safety pin or I mean the paper clip or whatever you're using to get into RCM mode. I'd highly recommend doing this. So now you go back 
and then you'll hit boot custom firmware when you open it up if you go down to the albums there's all the any game or whatever that you dropped on is going to be right here that's the game that you dropped onto the root of the SD card if you go back to home you could get into your NSP your eShop games like Hollow Knight or uh, Enter the Gungeon Celeste and these you're gonna load through here through Pokemon Quest you'll click Pokemon Quest here I'm gonna show you what your SD card should look like so just look on the screen your SD card layout should look something like this which will help you get an idea if your stuff is is right in the file system and also I'm gonna show you how to drop a game NSP game or regular game it's all the same just depending on where you put it the NSP games will go in the titles file that's inside the SXOS file that's in the root of your SD card but you'll see it on the clip and the regular cartridge dumps with the XCI files will go right on the root of your card but you'll see the file system right now okay so this is how my SD card works after you format your SD card, you're going to have this Nintendo file. That's fine. What you're going to do is you're going to drop all your games right here. This is the root of the SD card. Don't go into no files. You drop the game here. This is where you're going to drop your boot.dat file. That's the one that's going to help you boot into the SXOS. And from there, you'll be able to get your license and all that, which you can watch in another video how to do the license thing. After that, you're going to create a file called SXOS. Inside there, you're going to have a fi file you're going to create called Titles. Inside there, you're going to drop the dev menu. It's going to be this file with a bunch of numbers 0105D100807, whatever. From there, you'll drop in all your eShop games which I have Sonic Mania and I'm gonna drop right now so you're gonna drop Sonic Mania into that file that has the dev menu and all that once it's done dropping in now you can take it out of your computer put it back in your switch now remember you're going to have to inject your payload again with the Tegra RCM GUI. That's the only way you're going to get your switch to turn back on to this menu. You have to do it every time your switch powers off. So let's get inside your, your switch now. Now you're going to need to download Pokemon Quest. That, it's for free on the eShop. Download that because that's the game you're going to use. Once that's downloaded, when you go to select Pokemon Quest, you're going to get the development, the developer menu, which looks like this. Hang on. It looks like this. So there you go to the side. You go down to the game I just dropped on. Well, you go to install from SD card. Click on that. And if I go down, Sonic Mania is on the bottom right there. Click that. And I want to install it. Hit start. It's going to install it. Once it, finish, once it installs and finishes installing, you're going to restart your switch. And now that eShop game is going to be on the home menu. So you'll be able to see it right there and play it or whatever. I'll show you right now. Yeah, so once you're done installing, hit this power in the corner. Reboot. Now it's going to turn off and reboot your switch. But you have to hook your cord back up. And do the Tegra RCM thing again. So here you go. Now you have Sonic Mania on the home menu when you restart it. So you go over to Sonic Mania. Click it and it'll start playing. Just select your icon. As soon as you see the Nintendo Switch logo, it's loading. There it goes. The game is playing. 
So yeah, that's how you get eShop games to work. Now, if you want to go back and play cartridge games, just hit the home menu. Go down. Remember, you got to load up your cartridge games. Go to albums. These are all the ones you dropped on the root. Let's say Rocket League. You want to try Rocket League? Click on that. Now go over to Rocket League. Now the cartridge is loaded up. You can see the dark square. Click on that. Close Sonic Mania. And Rocket League will load up. Now the thing about these games, you can't play any of them online. Not because you'll get banned, because Nintendo doesn't even let you play online. You cannot play these games online. Uh, they won't even let you connect. But if you have games you bought, or like say Fortnite, which you could download for free, you can play Fortnite online. They're not going to ban you or stop you from playing Fortnite. So, sorry about the camera going in and out. It's looking for light. Let's just go to cancel. So I don't have my internet on. And the game should load right up. And that's how you do it. Have a good time doing it. Now just as a wrap up for everybody to know, like I said, you can play online, but you can only play online with games that you bought or free downloads that you find on the eShop and stuff like that. Basically anything you get through the eShop or cartridges itself, they'll still allow you to play online. You just cannot play online with the dumps that you dump yourself or find on the internet or the NSP games, which are eShop uh, copy games. So yeah, that's it. I mean, it's an amazing uh, operating system software for your Switch. If you're interested in take a look at it, give it a try. Maybe try out a game that you're interested in buying. And um, hope you enjoy the video.